Bill Snaffer here, and Nielsen is ready to kick off your new year with tremendous savings. It's the New Year's kickoff event at Nielsen. We're passing on amazing New Year discounts up to 10 grand on every new Jeep, Chrysler, Dodge, and Ram. Like a new 2018 Jeep Cherokee for just $1.99 a month. With special deals on all 2017 leftover vehicles. You'll also get $1,500 over book value for your trade and the credit help that you need and deserve. Save today the Nielsen way and Happy New Year! Start something new event. Welcome to the Nielsen Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Morris County Sports Beat. I'm your host, Dan Cleary. I hope everyone's enjoying the winter. It was pretty cold last week, but better weather this week as everyone's getting out there. But you know what's heating up? All the action around Morris County. And we're happy to bring all those highlights to you here on the Morris County Sports Beat. Again, a big shout out to Bill Snoffer, the general manager, and Eric Nielsen, who owns the Nielsen Automotive Group, for allowing us to, to go and bring the great stories and games in Morris County into your living room. So we want to thank them. Please come down to the lot right off Route 10 in East Hanover where they have great deals. Check them out also on social media. We're going to lead off tonight's show with a wrestling showdown, which has become quite the tradition over the last few years. Roxbury has been terrific in Group 4. Hanover Park, a staple in Group 2. Well, they went at it again over at Hanover Park right down the street uh, off Route 10. Let's find out who won. This early season Morris County rivalry match starts at 145 pounds here at Hanover Park. And it's Sean Connolly of Hanover Park with the reversal to go up 7-3 in the third period and route to a 7-5 decision over Dominic LaRusso and Hanover Park has the 3-0 lead. Roxbury gets a tech full in 557 at 152 pounds. Watch Evan Vasquez of Roxbury with the reversal and the back points to build a 10-1 lead over Connor Milgan of Hanover Park and Roxbury still has the early lead. They move to 160 pounds and it's Anthony Rallo of Roxbury building a 5-0 lead en route to an 11-2 major decision over Nick Correo of Hanover Park and Roxbury has a 9-3 lead through three matches. At 170, watch Nick Zara of Hanover Park keep working and he finally gets the takedown here in the third period to post the 6-4 decision over Mike Correnti and Hanover Park is down by 3, 9-6. We go to 182 pounds and it's the Ha Khan of Roxbury getting the takedown here right before the end of the first period and he would top Sebastian Basilino 6-1 and Roxbury's up by 6, 12-6. Roxbury gets bonus points here at 195 pounds. Watch Stephen Fowler get the takedown on the edge of the mat in the third period during his 13-5 major decision over Daniel Gregory to make it 16-6 Roxbury. Roxbury will extend its lead to 13 here. It's Jose Diaz with the takedown that's tied at five here in the third period as he would go on to post a 6-5 decision over Gianluca Birnbaum and Roxbury has a 19-6 advantage midway through the match. In a tight one at 285, we go to the ultimate ride out and Daniel Jimenez of Hanover Park holds on for the 2-1 victory over Joe Hills and Hanover Park trails 19-9. At 106 pounds, it's Jake Persis of Hanover Park with the first period takedown en route to a 6-1 decision over Franco Mazza to help cut Roxbury's lead to 19-12. Then watch Joey Oliveri of Hanover Park come out flying at 113 pounds as he pins Tom Consolea in just 21 seconds and Hanover Park is down just by one, 19-18 with four matches to go. And Hanover Park retakes the lead here at 120 pounds with another fall. Watch Don Marola lock up John Tessisario for the fall in 303. And the Hornets have the five point lead, 24 19. We move to 126 pounds, and it's another fall for the Hornets as Don DeFrancesco Antonio pins Larry Hopkins in 122. And Hanover Park now has an 11 point lead, 30 19, with just two bouts to go. Hornets would win their sixth straight match here and seal the win at 132. Watch defending state champ Nick Ramo record the fall, the fourth straight pin for the Hornets at 143 over Kevin Rosado. And Hanover Park wraps up the match with a 36-19 lead with one bout to go. Scott Jarrows of Roxbury gets the takedown here as he tops Mike Rubin 7-4, but Hanover Park would post the impressive 36-22 victory in a battle of two of the best teams in Morris County. We knew what we had to do. 
we had to go out there and get pins to help our team out and we all had that mindset going out there to do it. We knew what we had to do out there. We all planned it out pretty nicely. Roxbury is always a close one. Every year we battle with them and we're all, both teams are always looking forward to it. Big crowd comes out every time and it's just always fun for both of us. It was a good win for us. Um, I, I certainly don't think we wrestled as, as well as we could. You know, we, we knew coming in that Roxbury, you know, no matter what team they have, they're going to battle and it's always going to be a good match. You know, it's a big rivalry match for us. Um, so, you know, I, I don't think we had our, you know, our best effort, but, um, you know, somebody came up big. Don Marola came up in a huge spot and got a, got a pin for us. So, you know, in, in matches like that, you need someone to step up and, and he did tonight. Well, Hanover Park again with another close victory and new head coach Tyler Branham. For you guys who follow wrestling, he was a terrific wrestler up at Kittatinny for the legend John Gill. And I truly believe he will continue what James Laval started there. And Laval, what can you say about him? Three-time state champ for the Hornets. Won a state, you know, numerous section titles as the head coach. So his legacy is definitely cemented down there, down here in uh, East Hanover. We'll have more here on the Morris County Sports Beat right after these messages here on MugsMedia.com. Bill Snoffer here, and Nielsen is ready to kick off your new year with tremendous savings. It's the New Year's kickoff event at Nielsen. We're passing on amazing New Year discounts up to 10 grand on every new Jeep, Wrestler, Dodge, and Ram. Like a new 2018 Jeep Cherokee for just $1.99 a month, with special deals on all 2017 leftover vehicles. You'll also get $1,500 over book value for your trade and the credit help that you need and deserve. Save today the Nielsen way and Happy New Year! Start something new event. Home and Hearth Developers is located in Paramus, New Jersey and has been serving Sussex, Morris, Passaic and Bergen counties for over 25 years. Home and Hearth can help you from concept to completion and specializes in additions, decks, roofing and siding. Family owned and operated, we never use subcontractors and are fully licensed and insured. Please like us on Facebook and let Home and Hearth developers manage your next home project. Pop, 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 money, money. Pop, 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 money, money, money. Use your phone to pay your friends. You can even pay the rent. Out to dinner, pay your buddy. Use your phone to pop your money. Lakeland Banks, pop money, money. Pop, 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 money, money, money. Pay the sitter, send the gift. It's real easy, you get my drift. You don't need checks, you don't need cash. Use pop money, it's so fast. Lakeland Banks, pop money. The easy way to pay people. Pop to it. Pop, pop, pop. Welcome back to the Morris County Sports Beat, as it's brought to you by Nielsen Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, located on Route 10 in East Hanover. Please stop by, check out their great selection. Well, girls basketball action and boys basketball. We're in the middle of the NJAC season, and Jefferson, which won the American Division the last two years on the girls' side, went up to go take on Pope John, and the Falcons came away with a victory. Let's check out the highlights. First quarter action here at Pope John, and Jefferson jumps out to the 5-2 lead. It's Nicole Lemieux popping the jumper and the Falcons are up by three. Then it's Kenneth Squire with a nice look here to Julia Barricado who knocks down the baseline jumper and Pope John trails 7-4 and that's our score after one quarter. We move to second quarter action and watch Jefferson get the ball to Victoria Piatrowicz who goes strong to the hoop for the lay-in and the Falcons are up by five, nine to four. The Falcons increase their lead to eight, watch Nicole Lemieux find Taylor Langan, who gets the shooter's roll, and it's 13-5 Jefferson. Then it's Taylor Langan with the steal, and she takes it all the way in for the easy deuce, and the Falcons have a 17-5 advantage. Pope John needs a basket, and the Lions get it here. It's Julia Barricado rattling home the three-pointer to cut Jefferson's lead to 19-10, as the Falcons would take a 20-10 lead at the half. We move to third quarter action and it's Victoria Piatrowicz with the steal and the lay-in and Jefferson's up 22-10 here early in the quarter. Now watch Taylor Langan who finished with 16 points with the skip pass to Emily Peretti who drains a three and the Falcons have increased their lead to 15, 25-10. The Jefferson onslaught continues thanks to its great defense. This time it's Nicole Lemieux with the steal and Victoria Piatrowicz with the easy hoop and the Falcons are soaring with a 29-10 lead. Pope John responds here. Watch freshman Carly Fitzmorris get the little runner in the lane to go, and the Lions trail 29-12. Then it's Kenneth Squire's turn with the one-hander in the paint to cut Jefferson's lead to 15, 29-14, forcing a Jefferson timeout. 
as the Falcons take a 30-18 lead into the fourth quarter. Okay, fourth quarter we go, and it's sophomore Emily Peretti again, knocking down the three-pointer for Jefferson, and it's 33-18. Kenneth Squire was a bright spot for Pope John. Watch her follow her own miss and stick it back, but Pope John still trails by 13, 33-20. And the Falcons put the final dagger in here. Watch Taylor Langan rattle in the three-pointer as it goes, as the Falcons pick up an important American Division road victory with a 38-22 win. We knew it's Pope John, so we had to come out. We had to give our all. Um, we needed this win. We've been, we haven't been struggling, but we haven't been able to finish winning the games. So this win was uh, really big for us. We played really hard today. We were very physical. I'm really proud of how the team all put it all together. And, uh, you know, it was close for a little bit, but we really put it away. I thought overall our team played great. We had great chemistry. We started rough in the season. But I think we're bouncing back, and it was a great game against Pope John. They're a very good team, and I have respect for them. But I, our team brought it today, and that's how we got the victory. Pope John's uh, certainly one of the teams that we're, uh, we have circled on our calendar as one of the teams to beat if we want to repeat as league champions. So um, to see them this early in the season, certainly a big test. Um, I was real proud of the way that we uh, came out, matched their physical play. Um, you know, it was an intense game. They wanted it. We wanted it too. You saw a lot of loose balls, kids diving on the floor, taking charges. It was great. Uh, and when, anytime you can win that kind of matchup, I think it says a lot about the kind of toughness that we have. This was a tough physical game between Pope John and Jefferson. Falcons only had a 7-4 lead after one quarter, but they turned it on the second quarter and really never looked back. We always say, like, we got to just keep pushing, grind it out, find ways to score, and that's what we did. Our defenses are key for everything. The fast breaks that we get off of steals is what really helps us. So the more we put pressure on them, then the more we'll score. We had a lot of people knock down some jump shots, so that's how we started rolling off in the second half. Tonight's shooting by both teams were as cold as the weather outside, but as Coach James McDermott from Jefferson said, defense travels. You can put it in the suitcase, bring it on the road, and that's exactly how the Falcons won tonight's game with tenacious defense. Our defense definitely wins us the games. You know, we're out there, we're flying around, um, doing different things to just generate turnovers. And, you know, in the end, that's what, that's what helps us. The defense is new this year. Coach McDermott really came up with a good defense. Um, it's fantastic. We get so many steals, and I'm really, I'm really happy about it. Our defense is one of our key components into winning. So I think, like, overall, we've been doing really good with that. Um, we just started this year, so it's still like as we go on, there's a lot to learn and a lot to improve. So every day we go out trying to fix it and make it better. The defense has been something that's kept us afloat. Uh, we've played a, a challenging schedule through our first seven games. Uh, we've played some of Morris County's best teams and now uh, one of Sussex County's best teams in Pope John. I mean, anytime you can hold a team to 22 points, especially a team that can shoot the ball and drive the ball like Pope John, uh, you're doing something right. And it, it's kept us afloat in a lot of games. Uh, and, and like I said, you know, I, I don't know what our shooting numbers were, but they weren't, weren't pretty. Uh, and anytime you can win a game like that because of your defense, you know, it's great. Offensively, Jefferson has to really rely on everyone scoring. Taylor Langan, obviously a stud. She's going to Colgate. But without the three-point threat that they've had the last few years with Ashley Hutchinson and Nicole Fasallo, the Falcons all have to step it up. We're definitely trying to experiment with the younger girls, see who fits in. We're definitely rotating a lot more. And, you know, some nights it's Shelby's or Peretti's or Trish's or other girls off the bench and that's what really makes the difference is when they come in and someone makes like a small play and then it pumps all of us up and we're like okay like here we go. We definitely have some new girls we, we're not as strong as with threes as we were last year we had like more than 63s last year but this year we definitely a lot of girls drive well we what we lost in threes we gained in other areas. With Nicole and Ashley graduating we sort of switch our transition from three pointers to more in the paint and jump shots and getting each other open because we don't really have a lot of three pointer shooters. So most of our points are going to be in the paint or off the steals. We're, we have a, a great senior group, um, but we also have a lot of inexperience. So uh, we kind of expected the beginning part of the year to be a little bit of a, an adjustment period um, because we had to kind of change a lot of things that we've had success with. Uh, we don't have quite as many three-point shooters on, on our team. So uh, we had to look to our defense to kind of create some offense for us, get out on the break, um, you know, get Vic and Taylor out on, on the fast break, finishing like they're so good at. So uh, I think it's kind of been a different approach. Last year we played Pope John. It was, I think, 65 to 60, and, you know, and, and today it was 38-22, and, and that's exactly what we want. You know, we want the game to be low scoring, grind it out, um, make it a half-court game, and if, if you can beat our defense, then uh, we'll take our chances with that. Jefferson's won the American Division the last two years, and the seniors are hoping to make it a three-peat. We definitely know, especially I speak for all the seniors, and we say this is the one year like we really want to go out and get it. Um, 
we're focusing every day in practice. Um, our main concern is, you know, getting in every day, working hard, and grinding out these games. We really want to get that title. Um, uh, it's my senior year, so I really want to have my senior year on the banner, and it would be it'd be awesome if we can win. We talk about it a lot. Uh, the, the basketball banner in our gym is an impressive sight uh, when you look at the long history of successful teams that have played there, um, and it's something that, that make, means a lot to the girls who are here. They want to be the ones to add their senior year to the banner. Um, they've helped the seniors the past two years add, add their senior year, and it's something that means a lot to them. You know, when they come back for those alumni games, you know, you can see them. They look up at, at the wall, and they... There's a sense of pride that comes along with that, and um, you know, especially in the American division, knowing that you have to go through some really tough teams, and you really have to earn that. Um, so today was a big first step, but we still have seven more to go. Congratulations to Tara Lang and the outstanding guard from Jefferson. Delaware, where she committed, had a coaching change. She reopened her re recruiting process, and she signed with Colgate. Terrific school. Great job by Taylor. We'll have more here on the Morris County Sports Beat right after these messages here on MuggsMedia.com. Bill Snoffer here, and Nielsen is ready to kick off your new year with tremendous savings. It's the New Year's kickoff event at Nielsen. We're passing on amazing New Year discounts up to 10 grand on every new Jeep, Chrysler, Dodge, and Ram. Like a new 2018 Jeep Cherokee for just $1.99 a month with special deals on all 2017 leftover vehicles. You'll also get $1,500 over book value for your trade and the credit help that you need and deserve. Save today the Nielsen way and Happy New Year! Start something new event. Pop, 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 money, money. Pop, 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 money, money, money. Use your phone to pay your friends. You can even pay the rent. Out to dinner, pay your buddy. Use your phone to pop your money. Lakeland Banks, pop money, money. Pop, 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 money, money, money. Pay the sitter, send the gift. It's real easy, you get my drift. You don't need checks, you don't need cash. Use pop money, it's so fast. Lakeland pop, Banks, pop, pop money. money. The easy way to pay people. Pop to it. Pop, pop, pop. Home and Hearth Developers is located in Paramus, New Jersey, and has been serving Sussex, Morris, Passaic, and Bergen counties for over 25 years. Home and Hearth can help you from concept to completion and specializes in additions, decks, roofing, and siding. Family owned and operated, we never use subcontractors and are fully licensed and insured. Please like us on Facebook and let Home and Hearth Developers manage your next home project. Welcome back to the Nielsen Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Morris County Sports Beat. I'm your host, Dan Cleary. Well, we just saw the Jefferson girls with a big win. Well, the Jefferson boys in the American Division, they had a tremendous win last week against Pope John, giving Pope John its first division loss in a long time. And uh, they did a great job, Stephen Bremen, who got his 1,000 point recently. Well, they took on Morris Hills, who's having a great year thus far, time of the tape, and they came into that game 6-2. and two. And uh, it was a great game down at Jefferson. The Falcons pulled out the victory. Let's check it out. First quarter action here at Jefferson High School, and after the opening tip, it's Matt Johnson with the kick to Stephen Greenman for the three, and the Falcons are up 3-0 over Morris Hills in this early season American Division class. Then watch Anthony Johnson swing it over to Bremen for another three, and Jefferson takes the 8-2 lead. Now watch Jefferson do it on defense as Matt Johnson blocks the shot. The leads to the run out and a nice finish here by Joe Batelli and it's 11 point game 13 to Jefferson. Jefferson will take a 23-7 lead after one quarter thanks to this Anthony Johnson three-pointer and the Falcons have a 16 point lead after eight minutes of play. Okay, second quarter action we go when Will Brzezinski of Morris Hills hits the jumper here to cut Jefferson's lead to 23-18 after an 11 point run here by the Scarlet Knights. Then watch Andre Moreno with the look here to Andrew Barrett, who buries the corner three, and the Scarlet Knights trail only by two, 25-23. And the Scarlet Knights come all the way back to take the lead. Watch Andre Moreno bank in the off-balance shot, and he draws the foul, and Morris Hills takes a 26-25 lead. But Jefferson takes a 30-26 advantage into the half, Watch this nice skip pass from Cole Candell to Joe Patelli, who knocks down the tray, and the Falcons are up by four. They move to third quarter action and off the inbounds play it's Will Brzezinski to Andrew Barrett for the three, but Morris Hills is down 37-31 to the Falcons. Jefferson would build a 48-41 lead before Andrew Barrett of Morris Hills dials long distance again with the NBA three, and the third quarter comes to an end with Jefferson holding a 48-46 lead. 
Fourth quarter action we go and Morris Hill, he takes the lead here. Andre Moreno with the terrific look inside to Will Brzezinski and it's 54-52 Scarlet Knights. All right, Jefferson's down three and they need a basket and Cole Candell delivers as he knocks down the tray and this clash is knotted at 57. What a shot there for Candell. And then watch Andrew Benfatti hit the clutch three here to make it 61-57 Jefferson late as the Falcons would hold on for the 64-61 victory here at Jefferson High School. We came out really hot. You know, everybody was hitting their shots. We were feeding Steve and Joe. They were hitting everything. And then we kind of hit a slow, like a rough patch in the second and third quarter, even into the fourth quarter. But we were able to bounce back and take home the victory. I was hitting my shots early. And uh, I had ended up with 15 points and slowed down a little at the end. But we got the dub, so. They're so well coached and such a good team. You know, they came in here six and two. Uh, we knew it was going to be a dog fight. And uh, yeah, it's a huge win, especially at power points for our section and uh, stay competitive in our league. Absolutely. All right. Jefferson, which played Sparta, a division rival, earlier in the season, but it was in the Route 206 Challenge. So they still have to play Sparta twice and Pope John again and Morris Hills. I think this is the closest the American division on the boys' side is going to be in about six years. So that's going to be a lot of fun to watch. We'll have more here on the Morris County Sports Beat right after these messages here on MuggsMedia.com. Bill Snoffer here, and Nielsen is ready to kick off your new year with tremendous savings. It's the New Year's kickoff event at Nielsen. We're passing on amazing New Year discounts up to 10 grand on every new Jeep, Chrysler, Dodge, and Ram. Like a new 2018 Jeep Cherokee for just $1.99 a month with special deals on all 2017 leftover vehicles. You'll also get $1,500 over book value for your trade and the credit help that you need and deserve. Save today the Nielsen way and Happy New Year! Start something new event. Pop, 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 money, money. Pop, 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 money, money, money. Use your phone to pay your friends. You can even pay the rent. Out to dinner, pay your buddy. Use your phone to pop your money. Lakeland Banks, pop money, money. Pop, 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 money, money, money. Pay the sitter, send the gift. It's real easy, you get my drift. You don't need checks, you don't need cash. Use pop money, it's so fast. Lakeland pop, Banks, pop, pop money. money. The easy way to pay people. Pop to it. Pop, pop, pop. Home and Hearth Developers is located in Paramus, New Jersey, and has been serving Sussex, Morris, Passaic, and Bergen counties for over 25 years. Home and Hearth can help you from concept to completion and specializes in additions, decks, roofing, and siding. Family owned and operated, we never use subcontractors and are fully licensed and insured. Please like us on Facebook and let Home and Hearth Developers manage your next home project. Welcome back to the Nielsen Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Morris County Sports Beat. A little bit of a Jefferson flavor tonight, but nothing wrong with that. Bill Snoffer, who's the general manager here, he's a graduate of Jefferson, scored 1,000 points, was a terrific golfer. Well, down at Jefferson, they had a little bit of a changing of the guard in the athletic director's office. At the 40 years of education, the last 20 at Jefferson as the principal and then the athletic director, John DeCole retired, and we spoke to John about that decision. 40 years and uh, 20 at Jefferson. Uh, it's very humbling. It's very humbling. Uh, but like I said at my dinner, and uh, I've said many, many times, it's the best job around because where else can you see ordinary young men and women do extraordinary things every day? And, and that's what's great about this job. I love it. Just talk about what you've done as an athletic director at the school. Obviously, you've done a great job with Jefferson Athletics, but you are statewide and nationally known. You go to the conventions, you're on the cusp of all the hot button issues. Talk about how important that is. Well, I, I, I actually, if it wasn't for my secretary, I couldn't do those kind of things. Uh, my secretary is great, and it allows me to be able to get out of the office and do statewide things and national stuff. Uh, and I really like doing that stuff because, like you say, it really puts you right in the, in the forefront of everything that's going on in the state and the nation. And I really enjoy doing that. You had 40 years, but you're one of those lucky guys. You started in the classroom. You were a coach. You were a building administrator and an athletic director. You covered it all. Just your thoughts on that. Uh, well, it's been a long career, um, but, uh, you know, when you're in education for as long as I've been, it, and I'm saying this figuratively, it keeps you young because you're dealing with young kids and you're dealing with young staff members, and it just keeps you young, and, and that's what I loved about the job all these years. I know it'd be, it's tough, but 20 years at Jefferson, any couple of memories jump out at you? 
Uh, the football championship in 08 was great. The 02 run was great too, playing against uh, Matt Olive and my son's team. Uh, those were two great memories. Uh, the basketball seasons, we just have a great basketball program. The softball program, uh, actually all the programs are really competitive, always competitive. And that's what I love about the, the athletics at Jefferson. And you know, one of the things I said also was that so many of our coaches are in-house coaches. We only have two or three that are out of district, which is really great and I'm proud of. So what's the plan now? Going to hit the golf course, hit the beach? What's John DeColo do now? Uh, maybe both of those things. Uh, I don't know. First, I'm going to see if I can afford to be retired. And if so, then I'll do that. Um, if not, I'll try to do something part-time. But, you know, three of my kids coach, and I'm really looking forward to see them coach because I haven't been able to see them. And one last thing. What would be your last parting wisdom to a guy that just became an athletic director, say he's 35 years old, coach for a little while, and he's jumping in to the fray of being an AD? Uh, well, if you're married and have kids, you better be very kind to your wife uh, on those days that you're not around and when you get home. Uh, that's the hardest thing. It's the toughest job in education because of the hours. And that's what takes a toll. That's what takes a toll. All right, John, we wish you the best of luck in retirement. Folks, on a personal level, he was, no has, was nothing but good to me and Muggs Media over the years. Very accommodating. He did a lot for the state. Uh, his work with the, the transfer issue with Bill Edelman, who just retired from Vernon, is great. And we wish Billy Koch the best of luck as the new athletic director. Bill was an uh, AD at Monville before coming over. He also coached at Jefferson, was a wrestling coach at Pope John. I think Bill Koch will continue that great tradition that John DiColo and before him, Bob Knowles started. We'll have more here on the Sports Beat right after this. Bill Stauffer here, and Nielsen is ready to kick off your new year with tremendous savings. It's the New Year's kickoff event at Nielsen. We're passing on amazing New Year discounts up to 10 grand on every new Jeep, Chrysler, Dodge, and Ram. Like a new 2018 Jeep Cherokee for just $1.99 a month. With special deals on all 2017 leftover vehicles. You'll also get $1,500 over book value for your trade and the credit help you need and deserve. Save today the Nielsen way and Happy New Year. Start something new event. Pop, 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 money, money. Pop, 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 money, money, money. Use your phone to pay your friends. You can even pay the rent. Out to dinner, pay your buddy. Use your phone to pop your money. Lakeland Banks, pop money, money. Pop, 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 money, money, money. Pay the sinner, send the gift. It's real easy, you get my drift. You don't need checks, you don't need cash. Use pop money, it's so fast. Lakeland Banks, pop money. The easy way to pay people. Pop to it. Pop, pop, pop. Home and Hearth Developers is located in Paramus, New Jersey and has been serving Sussex, Morris, Passaic and Bergen counties for over 25 years. Home and Hearth can help you from concept to completion and specializes in additions, decks, roofing and siding. Family owned and operated, we never use subcontractors and are fully licensed and insured. Please like us on Facebook and let Home and Hearth Developers manage your next home project. Welcome back to the Morris County Sports Beat. It's time now for Orthopedic Institute New Jersey Live Well Tip of the Week. Hi, I'm Rehan Shamim. I'm an orthopedic surgeon at the Orthopedic Institute of New Jersey. I work with athletes of all ages, from children and adolescents through high school and college, and even to the weekend warrior population. These are people who like to stay active. They like to engage in sports. They like to do exercise. They might like the uh, aspect of staying in good shape. They might like the team and camaraderie aspect of it. My name is Lara Carlson. Uh, we are at Central Park of Morris and there's kickball going on tonight. So uh, I work for the organization Jersey Club Sports and we run a league. It's almost every night a week there's a different league going on and tonight it's kickball and sand volleyball. So some people do come and warm up and they take it seriously but then there are others who don't and we see some really serious injuries so you know, it would be nice to see more people come and warm up. Some people show up literally at 6.30 when the game starts and they leave as soon as it ends. There's no warm up or cool down. And you know, I'm an, I'm an athlete myself. I played sports in college and I know the importance of warming up and cooling down. And sometimes people get hurt because of it. Because they're not dedicating their full time to keeping their muscles strengthened and stretched and appropriately worked out, when they do put in 100% effort on, on, the, on those weekend sporting activities, it might be a sudden change from what their muscles are normally used to. If you're a weekend warrior, you like to go out on the weekends, softball, kickball, volleyball, whatever it may be, you just have to keep in mind what are the specific demands of your sport 
and what can you do to prevent injuries in those sports. You'd be surprised because you think like, okay, this is fun, it's co-ed sports, but um, someone tore their Achilles on the first day of one of the opening kickball seasons. He was out for the rest of the season. Um, I've seen like really serious injuries. People sand volleyball, um, spraining their ankles, just coming down, you know, people have torn their ACLs. For many athletes, athletic trainers are very important in helping us take care of the athletes in terms of both injury prevention and treatment. For high school athletes, most high schools do have athletic training staff and the athletes will have access to them as they need on a, on a daily basis. As you get into the higher levels of sport, including college and professional, that access becomes even more, uh, even more intense. Unfortunately for the weekend warriors, they don't necessarily have this kind of access. When they get injured, they don't know where to go. They don't have a point person that they can talk to about, about how serious is this kind of thing and how, what do I need to do, who do I need to see, what further treatment should I be getting. And that's why we're here. Uh, our job is to make sure that anybody who comes in will get that kind of evaluation and has that access. I think a partnership with the Orthopedic Institute would be phenomenal for this organization. Um, Jersey Club Sports is huge and there are so many different members and again there are some people who have never played sports in their entire life and they're doing this purely because it's social and it's fun and but I think everyone from you know the athlete to the non-athlete need they need to know properly you know how, how to warm up or what what they should do when they have an injury and likewise for the staff. As sports medicine physicians, we love sports and we love athletes. We, we love being part of a team and we take that team approach towards taking care of our athletes. That involves treatment with, with us, our physician's assistants, our physical therapists, our athletic trainers. All of us work together to make sure our athletes stay out on the field. We like to keep our athletes healthy and a good injury prevention program can do that. If things don't go as planned and something happens, we do our best to make them get back to the sports that they love as quickly as possible. All right, folks, they're the best, I'm telling you, from your neck down to your toes, from diagnosis to treatment to surgery to rehab. It's the Orthopedic Institute of New Jersey. There's no other place to go. And you know what, folks, you don't even have to travel. You check out their website. They've got locations throughout northwest New Jersey. So not only do you get top-notch care, you don't have to travel. And they'll work with you with the payments. They're just a great, great organization. And we can't thank them enough for all they do for Muggs Media, believing, as does Eric, Sno uh, Eric Nielsen and Bill Snoffer, in the positive stories of what we bring to Morris County. Well, that's going to wrap up this edition of the Morris County Sports Beat. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll have more highlights next week. We'll be at hockey. We'll be at girls basketball, boys basketball, wrestling. And we'll be at all the top games from here on out. So stay tuned here to MuggsMedia.com to get all your Morris County sports information. Well, that'll wrap it up. I'm your host, Dan Cleary. Good night, everyone.